What's up y'all, out here at the range on a fantastic day. Nice sunny weather, very nice temperature out here. Not a whole lot of wind, so I'm having a lot of fun getting a lot of testing done out here. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail on this one, I'm testing out another new tool out here. And to be honest with you, this one's all about just having some fun. So what we're looking at here is a little Bond Arms Derringer. And to be specific, it's the Grizzly Bear model chambered in 45410. Um, a lot of people have mentioned these little Bond Arms Derringers. If I I would get one to test out uh talking about how they use them for you know backup guns some people you know as their main primary defense weapon even um for me these have always been kind of more of a novelty just a, a fun kind of thing now granted they would definitely get the job done especially up close but to me it's just been more of a fun thing so i figured if i'm gonna get one why not just get real crazy and get the 45 410 version so like i said it is the grizzly bear model so what's different about this one is uh most of them just the standard models have the black plastic grips on them this one's got the extended rosewood grips on them and it's got a nice grizzly bear carved into it with the bond arms uh logo and everything on it nice checkering on the rosewood grips uh and it also came with this nice little leather holster with the little grizzly bear on it so just a couple little extra something neat if i'm gonna collect one of these i figured i'd want a little fancy one these things are all stainless steel frame and barrels uh it's got like a bead blasted finish on the frame got a little bit of polishing up here on the front on the stainless steel now you can get them completely polished you know all kind of different finish all kind of different grips and everything on them one really really nice thing about these bond arms little derringers is all the frames are the same meaning you can order different caliber barrels and just swap them out onto your frame so that's really really nice to be able to do that it is a two shot single action only little derringer your release for your barrels is right here you flip it down that's how you load it and then you close it back up just like that now a lot of people wonder like how do you choose which which barrel goes first there is no actual selector to choose which barrel to go off first but there is a way you can do that and what you do and this is even in the instruction manual if you look on the side here that opening i don't know how well the details going through but if you'll watch as i bring the hammer back you see that little hammer down there, how the little piece comes up. Now, if you'll notice how far it is up now, that's going to uh, fire the top one first. Now, if you watch what happens here, after I bring it back down, watch when I bring it now. You can see how much lower that little piece of the hammer sticks out. Now, watch again. So that right there is going to shoot the bottom one first. Now, if I do it again... That's going to be the top one first. So now if I leave it like that, when I load it up, it's going to do the bottom one first. If I wanted the top one first, I would do it. And now it's going to do the top one because if you'll notice, you see how far that sticks out. That's going to do my top one first. So that's a way to select which barrel goes off first. Now what Bond Arms recommends is having the lower one go off first if you're trying to do two of them. Uh, they claim that the lower barrel has way less muzzle flip. It's got more of just a straight back recoil so you can get that second follow-up shot back on target faster. So I think overall it's a pretty neat little unit now i will go on and tell you that trigger is heavy buddy like you would expect it would be but we'll see if we can get through it and make it work anyhow now just kind of rudimentary built-in sights on it you got the big old blade on the front and then you got the notch built into the back of the barrel there you just line up the, the uh, blade in the notch but what i'm planning on doing out here today is run several different kinds of ammo through it um, we'll see what kind of pattern in we get with that 410 now i'm not expecting a whole lot of accuracy out of the 45 colt because to be honest you ain't gonna be able to see in this video probably but there's a little bit of rifling on the end there. You got about three quarters of an inch of rifling on the end there is about all you got. This is a three inch barrel, by the way, three inch barrel. So like I say, just about the last three quarters is rifle because obviously you got to get those 410 shells so they couldn't rifle the whole barrel. Uh, it is chambered for two and a half inch 410. So no three inch 410 through this. But like I said, I'm gonna run several different kinds of ammo. I got some just uh, 250 grain cowboy loads here for 45 Colt. Got some 230 grain jacket at hollow point. And then I got these 225 grain ftx hornady 45 cold i figure i'll pop a couple of bottles or something with those if we can manage that and then i've also got a couple of 410 loads i got the critical defense it's got the uh, slug and the two uh two lead balls in it the, the uh, defense load and then i got some just regular number seven and a half bird shot here but we'll do a little plinking some steel out here see just how far we might can go out with it pop a couple bottles and then we'll work on some boom booms out here too but i'm gonna hop down to the bottom of the bank on this one so i can get to within about 10 yards and let's have some fun all right y'all i got us down here at about nine yards from that center silhouette there which means those two outside ones are probably around 13 ish right at 14 uh the 25 yard pink one's probably right at about 25 
maybe just a hair short. Um, I don't know how much work we're going to do out there. We definitely ain't going no further. I'm just going to tell you now. Um, but what I figured we'd do is just get a couple of shots of some 45 Colt, these 250 grain cowboy loads on this nine yard silhouette, just so I can figure out where my hold wants to be at as far as my sight picture. Um, feel, get the feel of this trigger. I know it's going to be a little heavy, so I want to get used to that. And then uh, I'll get some 410. We'll test some spread and some things like that. But let's start out with the uh, 45 Colt, the 250 grain. So you just pop them in there. I've got the uh, I've got it set up to run the the uh, bottom one first. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but the safety on that's just a regular cross bolt type of safety. The kind of unusual thing about this safety is, whereas most tools you run them to the left side and that puts them in fire, this one that's safe and fires when you go to the right like that. So kind of different there, but we'll get used to that. Well, let's see if I can figure out where to hold this thing at nine yards and, and get some shots on target down there. See what we can do. I'm not even sure what kind of hold to put on this thing to be honest with you, but I guess we'll I guess we'll figure it out. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna try to even out the top of the blade with the top of the notch. I think I missed to the left, y'all. Let's try that again. All right. I held a little more to the right. I think that first one was all me pulling on this trigger. I just, it didn't break when I expected it to, to be honest. Let me put a couple more in there. Let's try that again. Just to show you how this thing unloads, it's not really an ejector, but you got a little spring to there that lifts the, the cases up a little bit so you can grab the rim and just pull them out there like that. So they come out pretty easy. All right, let's go with two more of the same thing, the 250 grain cowboy load, 45 Colt. I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to just go for straight in the center. My elevation looks pretty good i had the top of the blade even with the top of the notch back here so let's see what i can get if i just try to aim right at the center where i want it to go at i'm trying to anticipate the pull on this trigger a little better too see what i get all right a little bit low All right, that moved it on up. So not too bad. I, I think, to be honest with you, that's me. I'm just not used to this trigger yet, but we'll get used to that. Let me put a couple of those 410 bird shot. Let's see what the spread is out there at nine yards. All right, I got a couple of these number seven and a half shot, 410, two and a half inch, 410. Those go in real easy. Real nice chambers on this thing. Nice and smooth, nothing tight binding up or anything. So let's see what the spread is off of this thing, y'all, at nine yards. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get a little better with this trigger. Get a little better hold on it also. All right, that was one. Let's go on and run the second one and then we'll go up there and look at it. All right, that thing's got a pretty good spread even at nine yards. Let me give y'all a little close up look so you can check that out. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. This, this GoPro ain't the best with detail, but what we got out of two whole shells, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, maybe 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we got about 19 seven and a half pellets on that. So I don't know about that kind of shot there at, at nine yards. All right, let's do some more 45 Colt. These are the 230 grain jacketed hollow points. I'm gonna try a couple of these on the steel and see where they're landing at. And then I'll put a couple bottles up top, see if I can pop them with these hollow points. So let's see what we get y'all. As long as I can get the windage right, I feel pretty good about popping the bottles. Let's see what we can do here. All right, that's pretty good on the windage, a little bit low. All right, yeah, that's pretty good on the windage. I'm feeling good about that for sure. That's actually not bad. I'm getting a little bit used to this trigger. It's just, it's a heavy trigger. I mean, you expect it to be a heavy trigger. It's probably, uh, I would guess about eight pound trigger, something like that, which I mean, that's what you want. That's that's part of the, the safety of these kind of pocket guns is a heavy trigger. All right, got us a couple of two liters set up out there. I feel pretty decent about the windage. I think I can get them things. I'll probably just jinx myself by saying that, but let's see what we can do out there, y'all. Here we go. All right, we definitely got him. That sure wasn't a whole lot of excitement out of that, though. There we go. That's just that's just very anticlimactic with those bottles for sure. There ain't a whole lot of power going down range. It was a good clean hit up there. Like I say, it just wasn't wasn't really much power. Let me get a little closer. Let's see if I can finish it off. That was a little bit better. 
All right, y'all, for some reason, I feel like torturing myself out here. I'm gonna try to put a couple on that pink 25 down there. I, I really don't think there's any chance I'm gonna hit that thing, but I'm gonna try just a couple of them anyway. Let's see what we can do here. Just a little bit high and right, look like. I think I'm going to the right. I'm going to try two more of those. All right, y'all, I'm going to try a couple more at that 25, and then we're going to move it back up here and maybe try to set some boom booms off and not fool with that 25 no more. Uh, I'm not feeling good about that 25. I this little thing, uh, my hold just I ain't quite, ain't quite figured out, and, and a 45 Colt with no rifling at 25, that's stretching it for me anyway. But let's see what I can make happen down there. There we go. Let's see if we can get the other one. Nah, I missed that second one. Hey, I'll take one. I'm happy with one at 25 with this thing. All right, y'all, let's try something a little different. I'm going to run a couple of these Hornady Critical Defense 410s. This has a uh, 41 caliber slug and two 35 caliber balls. I believe that's the weight on these things. So uh, to be honest with you, if I was going to carry something like this, this would probably be what I would be carrying in it. So let's see what this does at that nine yard target down there, y'all. Here we go. All right, looks like we got one hit on it. All right, that one hit all three. So I don't know if y'all can see, but we got one, one uh, projectile out of that first shot and then all three of them hit out of that second shot. So that ain't too bad. I mean, at nine yards, that would get the job done. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to end this thing out with a boom. This is gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be sketchy. But what I did is I severely hedged my bets down here. I've actually got four of those boom targets taped uh, on that little silhouette down there at nine yards. So if I hit one, it ought to be a heck of a boom down there, y'all. I'm gonna try with the 45 coat the jacketed hollow point let's see if we can get it to go off y'all All right, I guess that's the trick. You got to put more than one down there. All right, y'all, we're sending the Grizzly back to hibernation after that little show out there. Uh, the Bond Arms Derringer Grizzly model, 45 Colt 410. It's a rowdy little thing, I will tell you that. I mean, it ain't nothing real uncontrollable recoil but it's a rowdy snappy little thing without a doubt like i said at the start i really didn't buy this thing for any kind of carry purpose or or any kind of really serious use if i was going to get one of these for that kind of purpose i wouldn't get it in 45 colt 410 to be honest with you um probably something like nine millimeter or 357 38 would be a much better choice if you really actually wanted one of these bond arms for a carry option but for the novelty and fun factor of it this 45 colt 410 it, it's a pretty good choice like i say i bought it mainly just because i thought they look cool and it's a neat little option to have i mean i guess i could do some gel test out of it if y'all would be interested in seeing something like this but i suspect most people who do have these probably don't carry it chambered in 45 colt 410 but if y'all might want to see some gel tests or something else out of this let me know down in the comments but if you did enjoy the video as always make sure you reach down hit that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon check out all my affiliate links down in the video description y'all know to drill with the amazon if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first it goes straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy anywhere on the site i get a kickback from towards the channel check out those axle ear pro affiliate links down below if you're looking for some really good ear pro hit them links up first some big savings up to 50 percent you can save if you order multiple units by using those links versus going straight through the site appreciate all my range game members for hitting that join button and every single person who supports the channel by watching the videos hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about this little bond arms grizzly uh is any of y'all out there got these are they chambered in 45 colt 410 are they chambered in some other caliber let me know down in the comments what y'all's thoughts are i'm just about done out here for today i'm gonna try to knock out a couple little shorts before i head out of here so make sure y'all stay tuned for a whole lot more and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon